Hi folks, my name is Hermit in the Forest. This is my unboxing of 2480. Well, this is a science fiction role playing game featuring top down view. It is similar to Ultima games, the early ones in gameplay. And takes place in the future, in the year 2400 AD, on a distant planet that works as a mining colony. Uh, it was first inhabited at the start of 23rd century by humans, colonized by them. But in the year uh, 2315 it was invaded by alien race of Zork. Uh, they conquered the planet, exploited it and then they left. However, they left a robot um, patrol units in charge so they can exploit it more and they can send them resources. Now, uh, in the year 2400, um, you are playing as a guy who is being sent to this planet by Zork, because Zork conquer many planets in the universe. And so you are captured and sent to work for them on this mining planet. And on this planet you are contacted by the underworld, because you are somewhat uh, proficient uh, with computers and your goal in this game is to uh, infiltrate the authority complex where uh, all the uh, computer terminals uh, for robot controlling uh, are and you have to access the terminals and shut down the robots so that is your goal in this game to uh, and the rule of robotic soldiers. Okay, let's take a look at the box art. Here it is. Very nice. From origin. Now let's turn the box around and see the back side for some info about the game and pictures from the game. Okay, now I open the box and let's take a look inside. First of all, there is the game itself. It comes on one five and quarter inches disc. The label doesn't hold and it isn't a coincidence because I have one more copy of this and again the label, the glue doesn't hold. So it's quite strange, but this is how how the game disc looks like. Next, uh, there is this small bag with small tin robotic soldiers. They are different. Each one is a bit different. So, those are three metal robots made by Grenadier Miniatures next there is disc exchange form if you wanted three and a half inches discs or disc instead of the one present in the box registration card of origin okay advertising for quest for clues that is a solution for origin games uh, clue books uh, for or solutions for many origin games uh, put together into one big clue book yeah here you can see the games included in the quest for clues next there is a um, games catalog of other games from the game uh, from the time of this game's release yeah so some of those ultima 3 and yeah ogre 
and so on. Okay, so there's the gain slit lock. Next, there is advertising for Ultima 5 t shirts that you can get if you pay some more money. Here is order form for it. And here is some text about the game I'm unboxing now. Okay. Next, there is uh, a map of, of the complex. It's quite a big paper map. Here down you can see the legend. Yeah, and here are the rooms. Yeah. So. Okay, so paper map. Next, there is player reference card for IBM version of this game. How to begin playing, installation of the game, starting the game. Creating a character, commands. Okay, what's next? Directions. Here's the game screen. Now it looks like the game interface. Acknowledgement. Okay, so that's the reference card. And the last thing in the box is this notes from the underground booklet chronology of the Torque invasion. So here you can read something about the story, how it all began. With nice pictures, as you can see. Journal of a Rebel. Yeah. Something about weapons that you will use in this game. And some armor, some shields, and other usable items that you will encounter pills. Yeah, here are the actually the enemies. That you have to fight. Warranty. And on the back side there are the credits. Take a look at the people who made this game. Okay, and that is all that was in the box. I thank you very much for watching this video.